Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Uh, um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, Riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Should, do you really have an option other than run? <laughs> it's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation.
Emergency! Riots are breaking out all over Toa City! Makes no sense. Why is this happening? This gun is amazing. I'm definitely going to get out of here. They're dead. They're all dead. What's with this bear? Jeez, enough already. Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school, but the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized it grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Arson, brutality, murder, the violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. A 
And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, It's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl, but instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. I would have stayed in my room forever! <laughs> I gotta run! That's right! That Byakuya guy said that... Someone is supposed to be here, right? Yakuya guys! Uh, are you alright? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here! Hurry up and run! Uh, um... How, how did you know? I... I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? G go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a... Future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry. But what about you? <laughs> Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I I'm sorry. Hey, over here! I'll take you all on! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Future Foundation? Hmm? Um, this guy called Byakuya Togami said that you guys could rescue me. <laughs> what is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where's Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? He... he told me to run, so I... I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Togami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please! You have to go save him! 
Understood. I'll go back for him. I hope he can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are or where I am. I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Incident? It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then, the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all this, the world just crumbled. But, in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Oh, and as for this town... Are you alright? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city. And that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And, um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Is that... singing? Over there! Get back! This way! Get off!
Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? <laughs> you look completely exhausted. Who, who are you? Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all... I'm just a lowly servant. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. Then, the riots, and on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live. As their servant. Uh, um... Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. A... Uh, a full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world. There it is again! The gun... It's weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking about? Is this the right way? something again. Oh my God. 
into the room past the stairs? Introductions. All right, let's start with me, the leader. I'm the leader. I'm the super duper leader that unites the warriors of hope with a bang, Masaru Diamond. My special subject was PE, so that I'm the PE king who can do every exercise ever. Running. Okay then, now we're ready. A child's ear! Some kind of automaton robot. I see. I see. <laughs> no wonder it sucks more than the other one. Well, that's modern technology for you. I mean, it's not like this is sci-fi or something. It's borderline sci-fi at most. <laughs> uh, um. Yes, madame. What business do you have with me? Uh, are you... Here to rescue me? <laughs> Dekumaru, was it? Uh, it's Komaru! Komaru Naegi! And where's Master Byakuya? You know where he is, right? Huh? huh? <laughs> that gun you're holding... Oh, it's dripping with the Master's scent! Y you can... smell it? You got a death wish or something? Hiding master from me will cut your life expectancy! No, 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 I'm I'm not hiding it! Ten, nine, eight, seven. What are you doing? If you don't give me my master by the time I get to zero, I'm gonna cut you like wet mochi! Four, three, two! Oh, hold on! I really don't know what <laughs> <laughs> who, who are you? Huh? Uh, oh, 
wait, uh, don't tell me. You're Kamara Nagy, aren't you? I got it, right? Uh, I just told you that. Oh, did you? I, I, I can't help it, you know. I don't share memories with her. Her? Jeez, stop saying stuff that makes no sense. Everything is confusing enough as it is. At least tell me whether you're an enemy or a friend. Mm, well, you can call me your ally. Then come on! If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked. It, it's all right. Huh? No, it's it's all right. I can do it because I made a promise. Talco. Yes. Oh, oh, that ability is not a curse; it's a talent. Oh. An um, amazing talent that holds oh, incredible possibilities. Master, thank you, thank you very much. Master that talent. Do it for me. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, are you okay? Like I said, it will be all right. I can make good use of her now. I've learned a lot since then. We're gonna take them all down right here, right now. I'll, I'll smash them to pieces. Let's go. Omaru? Casually, like I'm one of your friends or something. I'm your senior. But, but you still haven't told me your name. <sighs> I'm sure you're just going to forget it right away. But it's Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Oh, sorry for having such a boring name. I bet you think it's perfect for a hag like me, right? I, I don't think that at all. And. Anyway, what was that all about earlier? 
You were a completely different person. I couldn't tell you. What? I d don't remember. Didn't I already tell you? We don't share memories. Um, I don't really get it. <sighs> it's like I said, I have a split personality. That girl was Genocide Jack. I'm just some filthy woman who's sick in the head. You're probably wondering how a stupid pig managed to learn how to talk, aren't you? I don't think that. Well, maybe the first bit? I mean, it's true that it's a little hard to believe, and I was pretty surprised. But if that's what you say, I believe you. It was a pretty drastic change, after all. You believe me just like that? What are you, stupid or something? Well, what was I supposed to say? Well, if you really are this stupid, that just makes this easier. It's just... I feel like I've heard the name Genocide Jack somewhere before. I... I see. So, you still remember. Well, no point in hiding it now. It was all over the talk shows back in the day, after all. Talk shows? Wait, could it be? No, never mind. Could... what? It's just... Uh, I feel like I've heard a similar name on the news about some serial killer. Yeah, that's the one. What? B but that was just in the old days. I, I've completely tamed her since then. Mm -hmm. Master commanded me to discover the secret. And I learned the stun gun does the trick. And, depending on how much shock I give myself, after a while I go back to my normal self. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's all thanks to Master Byakuya. Uh, anyway, it seems like a good skill. D -d -d Don't be dense! Huh? Didn't I just say I need the stun gun to change? My brain would fry if I just did it over and over. I can't just use it at will like that. Really? Anyway, what is your relationship with Master Byakuya, hmm? Why do you have that hacking gun? I, I was saved by him earlier. He, he gave this gun to me. S saved? Master Byakuya saved you? I will. I will protect Komaru Naegi. I swear it on my life. I swear in the name of the Togami family! You better not get ahead of yourself. Just because you're ugly. In a... in a cute way. Why are you angry? Remember this. I won't let anyone interfere in my romance with Master. I'm going to rescue Master. And then, in the heat of the moment... Huh? Rescue? Oh, wait, hold on. Byakuya was captured? What, you just figured that out? Why would I even be here if it weren't for Master? He was probably ambushed by cowards. There's no way he'd just allow himself to be captured. I... I see. So he was caught after all. Feel responsible for this. 
Your guilt would be an insult to my master. You're right. My worrying won't change anything. <sighs> What's with this chick? I can't believe I gotta take this indecisive girl. What was that? Nothing. And watch your mouth! I'm so terribly sorry? It's fine. You're a lost cause anyway. But more importantly, I want to hurry up and find Master. You're right. We've got to get out of this building. Well then, after you... Huh? Why do I have to go for... You have Master's gun, don't you? But don't worry. When you're really in trouble, I'll save you. I can't have you dying on me. Now, come on! Stop staring off into space and get moving already! You're not dead yet. <sighs> Fine. If it isn't your little buddy, maybe you... Hey, who are you calling a baby? You're offended, but you're still gonna ride it? Huh. S seriously? and depressing, just like me. Yeah, right. Right? Why didn't you deny it? That means you agree, don't you? Oh, just as I thought. Humans cannot be trusted. Humans? You are having delusions. I prefer to call it imagination. Why is this shutter here? This wasn't here when I was on the roof before. What's going on? You can't open it? It's impossible. Then what should we do? Oh, don't worry. There's a mystical spell that magic... What? See? Of course not. Obviously, we just have... Uh, oh... Are those people d d so cruel? Are you an idiot? I see. What's going on? Oh, but um. Funny at all. The, the power is out. I don't like dark places. That's a power panel. I wonder if we can do something to turn it on. Okay then, let's go.
Shogo? About this gun. Wouldn't it be better if you used it? I'm allergic to machines. Oh, well, if you have allergies, then I guess it can't be helped. before. No, it's probably just another one. Those brats are all wearing helmets like this. Huh? Really? <laughs> but why are they... Uh, I, I don't know. These kids only ever talk to each other. Even at a time like this, they're playing around like a bunch of idiots. This stupid brats. But isn't it dangerous? What if they get attacked by Monokumas? No, you don't get it. These brats are working with the Monokumas to kill all the adults. They're what? Kids killing adults? It's completely insane. But you can't just attack these brats. It's so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, Toko, who knows? Is 
kid. Kidding is my guess is who who cares anyway? Well, that mic, it's fine. Jeez. Uh. They're here again. like a playground for those little I've seen them playing around with a arcade machine them lurking around. Instead of fighting, it might be better to run. We don't want to be caught. Living. I was just imprisoned in an apartment the whole time. Imprisoned, huh? That's an interesting backstory. But how did you know I was living in this town? Huh? 
And while I'm at it, this has been on my mind for a while. You said something when we first met. You said you must be Kamaru Naegi. Toko, how did you know about... D don't get all detective mode on me out of nowhere. You've caught me off guard. Well, I think I deserve to know. It's not some big secret or anything. On the helicopter ride over, Master mentioned you and... Helicopter? You mean Future Foundations? You're a member of Future Foundation? Well, I'm more like an intern. That's why I don't have my own uniform yet. Oh, that's why you aren't in a suit. S such a cheap-ass organization. They could have at least given me a uniform. Ugh. When will I finally get to change out of this old ratty thing? You only have that one uniform, huh? Yeah, but I'll endure it for a little bit longer. I made a promise with Master. He said, if I can prove I can control her, I get to be an official member. <laughs> Toko, you must never leave my side. Protect me always. That is your purpose. Your destiny. But, I'm not an official member. Shh. Enough with the excuses. You are my property. I own you like livestock. Yes, I'm your livestock. My pig. Yes, I'm your pig. Hey, pig. Repeat the promise you made with me. Uh, uh... In English, fool. I promise to never let Genocide Jack kill another human being. Then I become an official member. I need you. Oink! 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 Uh. What's with that face? It's like you're looking at a pig. Did I look that weird? No, not at all. You didn't look disgustingly gross at all. I didn't ask you if it was gross, I just said weird. Oh, uh, sorry. Jeez, even this immature schoolgirl treats me like an intern. <sighs> and even that occult moron and the swimming idiot bimbo are official members. Wow, you sure give your friends nice nicknames. They're not my friends. My whole life I've never had a friend. And now you go making me remember stuff like that. Stop prodding my mental wounds, girl! I didn't mean to. Hm. Anyway, who cares about having friends? I have Master Miyaki, and as long as I have Master... To actually care about someone that much? That's a pretty amazing feeling. But I got separated from my precious master. Of course I did sneak onto the helicopter without master. Wait, so ever since then you've been... Huh? Oh, well, and more importantly... Me? This filthy, shabby-looking landscape, totally unsuitable for a noble like me. 